So there's a possibility to make your Akai Fire Controller look the way you want. You don't have to uh, get stuck with the colors they provide you. It requires some folder diving, but it's not that complicated at all. I created shortcuts on my desktop for these two for these two folders, and you can. There's a certain file inside them and uh, you have to go in this notepad file and then change it. This one doesn't have anything. Uh, if there is not a file like this, then you can just go and, and create one. It's basically, you just go here, press new, text document, and you type the same thing that you see here. I obviously have one, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and the way it works, is if you don't if you don't have one then your hardware is basically operating on on its default colors but if you want to change it you need to go inside if you don't have file there this is probably going to be just an empty file so i'm going to include this uh, all of this in the description so you can just copy paste it and then you will have the colors that i currently have um, i'm not really sure what this bottom part is for i haven't really figured that out i guess it's like a backup colors to use if you want to change it more to more than one uh setup for some reason but what you want to focus on is this part here so a root note is the first note in a scale is it's actually when you press note for example now we're in c uh the root note is then c and uh, this means that it's in red. Now here's a little lesson about hexadecimal numbers and how you can actually choose a color here. I'm pretty sure you can find like an online generator for hexadecimal RGB colors, but if you want to understand that, then I'm, I'm just going to quickly explain it. If you don't want to listen to this, then you can skip it and I'll put the time link somewhere around here. The way it works is it has basically six numbers and uh, two numbers represent one color so so these two are red these two are green and these two are blue and when they are all combined you get one color so if you want it if you want it to be red you would for example put two F's now you you might ask why would you use two F's well, because the hexadecimal numbers have more than 10 digits inside of them. So you can, you can think of it as 16 digits instead of 10. Because in the regular decimal system, you have 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 8, 9. And then after 9, you don't get a number, but you get a letter. You get A, and then you get B, and you get C, you get D, you get E, and you get F. So these are extra six numbers, extra six digits in, in, that, in that system. So it's hexadecimal instead of decimal. So F is the last digit. It's like the nine in hexadecimal system. So it means that red is like, if you, have a, if you had a slider, it would be at the end of the slider. So, so this is red. The other two are obviously zero. So if you wanted to, for example, create uh, if you wanted this root node to be green, you would type in 00, zero and then you would put FF. And it's not gonna start to work unless you either restart FL Studio or you can just go inside here and you go to your, wait, what is it? You go here to FL Studio Fire, you click this button and then you click it again. Sorry, you go here, disable, and then enable. It's gonna reload that file and it's gonna reread it and then it's gonna adjust the colors the way you specify. So for example, if you put two Fs here, I go file, save. Now it's saved with this. Now the root node should be green. So if we go here, we go to Apple Studio Fire, enable. All right, sorry. You need to actually, I just noticed that it didn't change. You need to actually go here, press any other basically, but you can press generic. And then again, this one. And that, that means that it's gonna reread that file for Akai FL Studio Fire. And now if you click it, you will see that your root note is green. So you click the note. So you have 
basically when it loads up by default it's in step mode you click the second button which says nope and then that is going to open your MIDI keyboard on your Akai Fire and the root node should be green. If for some reason it's not, just make sure that you actually save this uh, file in this location. The location for the file, uh, I'm going to include it in the description so you can just uh, copy and paste it basically. I think you can do it. Yeah. If if uh, your FL Studio is installed on your C drive. Uh, and this is basically for Windows. I'm not sure how it is for Mac because I've never used it, but I believe you can do it there as well. It should be possible to do it. So you go, you can do it. So you go here, program files, image line, FL Studio 20, system, hardware specific, uh, as you can see, you have maps for folders for for every controller that you can attach to your FL Studio. So we go in this one and there should be this file. If it's not, you just create one, like we said. Once you open it, it should tell you, hold on, no, I have opened two of them. Once you open it, here, this line should be FF. So the way, why, why does it work? You have three values here and each is represented with two of these digits. I hope I'm making it clear. So if you wanted green, you would put FF here. If you wanted it blue, you would put FF in the end and you would make the green channel zero, okay? If you wanted it to, to be orange, then you would press FF. Uh, you, you basically have to play a bit because if you put FF in red and FF in green, it's gonna basically give you yellow. So we don't want that, we want orange. So I put less of green. I put, for example, 88 out of 16. I put eight because that's somewhere in the middle. And if I go here and press save, this should give me now, if I press generic, and then I go Akai FL Studio Fire. Okay, that's still yellow. So, doesn't matter we just go in here and put let's try 33 that might work we press save we go here again so if we press here okay so this is so this is orange if you want something to be orange here it is this is the code you need to put it put in um, the same thing is gonna work for example for if you wanted it to be purple, you would just put FF here and FF here, and this is full red and full blue, which is gonna give you purple color. You can specify the color for the black notes as well. Um, if you look at the, at the Akai uh, note mode, you will see that you have basically three types of notes here that you can press. So you have root notes, which for me are red ones. You have the dark darker orange colors which for me are the, the black notes and you have the white notes which are the lighter i suppose yellow orangish color uh, and you have the codes for those as well so you can play around with it see what works uh, you also have a plain note color which means what color it is going to show once you actually play it so for me this is color blue I mean, this is just a random number. We could have just put FF in the end here and just do this as well. It would work. So it seems that we cannot do more than one undo in Notepad. We always learn something new. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Plain note user. Oh, okay, sorry. I. I think I interpreted it wrong. So plain note would be the note if you, for example, uh, if you press play in FL Studio and uh, you would have those notes triggered and it would be reflected on your, uh, on your Akai controller. And then you would see this color here, uh, which means you can actually change the note that you see the controller show you that is played versus the one that you actually play with your fingers. Um, 
the next four rows are for the spectrogram and uh, the way you activate spectrogram is first you need to activate it in here you go here to spectrogram and then you activate it there and uh, then you have to go to your controller and you need to press alt and then you need to move your filter so the third knob you move it and it's going to show you the spectrogram and then it's going to show you peaks left and gonna sh it's going to show you peaks right so peaks right and peaks left will not be affected i think only the spectrogram will be affected so you can if you don't want to use your your controller for con actually controlling you can use it as a visualizing tool and then you will have these colors as well and uh, you can change all of those colors in these in these inputs here so this first one is red and i think it starts spectrogram row four this would be the bottom one and this would be the second one from the bottom this would be the third one and this would be the top one so this is red this is um, yellow this one is kind of lighter blue i think and this one is full blue you can also change the colors for your for your drum mode so if you like to use your fpc you can change the colors for that as well and um, by default i think it's blue but i have put it up to be orange because that's that's the color of fire so that's what makes sense for me for you it might be green or whatever so you can change that and you also can change the mode for slice x um, the way you access your slice x is you go to your main knob here you press it once and then you scroll until it says slice x on the controller and it will show you like the whole grid of patterns that you can use and if you load in slice x here to add you go to where is it there we go so if you load a sample in here and you start adding markers then you could have them here but that's a whole a whole other tutorial we're not gonna go into that so you can change the colors for for this specific type uh, for this specific part of the of the controller as well so yeah i think we covered basically everything um once again you can just if you don't if you don't want to like mess with the hexadecimal thing you can just copy mine if if that's what suits your needs and then you can just play around and type type whatever until you get something that you like but you should know that these are these numbers are representing three values so each two di digits represent three values and by changing them f is like the highest of that and zero is the lowest so if you want to go in the middle you would put something like eight or nine which is weird i know but that's the middle of a hexadecimal because it has 16 so half of that would be eight so that's why if you see somewhere from for example i put here and 7f would be like i don't know it would be like somewhere in the middle because it's like 50 59 in, in decimal because this is the biggest number and this is like the middle number in hexadecimal so you would get a middle value you would get like a dimmer dimmer color of that if that makes sense it's kind of useful to to learn this hexadecimal thing because it's applied on many many things like especially if you're into graphics and photoshop and and stuff like that it can really come in handy to know like to type in a color if you want to use it um, yeah so that's it if you have any any questions leave them leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them um, I actually stumbled upon this thing by accident I, w I was trying to find out as much as I can about this controller yeah it's it's a nice thing that you can like customize your controller the way you want so so yeah, that's it.
leave a like if you if you like the video and subscribe for more tutorials and stuff like this.